Yo, what is up guys, Arsene here. In today's video, I'm going to be covering up a very informational and factual video regarding MK1 versus MK2 debates. Now, I'm going to be also exposing secrets that you guys didn't know about MK1 that basically makes it actually better than the MK2. But at the same time, I'm going to be keeping it fair by showing all tests. But I just want to real quick say that I'm not going to be including OP weapons such as like the explosive shotgun MK2 versus normal shotguns. It's clearly stupid. You guys seen it on a clip like literally one tap and you're gone and the other shotguns take forever so in this video we're going to be covering up the mk1 sniper versus mk2 and then we also got the special carbine as an example and we also got the miniguns the one the futuristic one and the one the og so in this video i'm going to be showing you like actually crazy stuff that you guys probably didn't know so let's get straight into it and let's see which is better in their terms of specialty areas mk1 or mk2 let's go Alright, so we're going to be starting out with the alien gun, which is called Widowmaker, and we're going to be testing the damage and also the ammo. So, guys, keep an eye on the ammo. Obviously, I'm going to be testing it from the same area and from the same shots, and let's see which minigun actually kills this big ballistic equipment faster. That's a good way to basically find out which, you know, minigun is more deadly. So, we have stopped on 9.6, and now we're going to be testing out with the MK1, the original minigun. So let's see how many bullets does this take to kill the ballistic equipment. Full ammo, full start, and obviously we're going to be testing out the recoil after and stuff like that. Alright, so this is 9.8, so clearly 200 bullets faster. That is actually quite deadly if you think about it. So MK1 M minigun is 100% better. Alright, now time for the recoil test. So basically, whichever minigun that goes really up as I'm shooting 500 bullets from the max ammo is basically the worst minigun, like, recoil accuracy. So obviously, if it goes left and right, that's also a bad sign. So let's see which minigun actually keeps up more accurately. Same dot spawn. Alright, so in my opinion, I think the MK1 minigun still wins because clearly you guys can see the bullets being way closer to each other. The f more further the bullets go from each other, that's a, that's a really bad sign because that means that your aim, when once you're shooting, is going to be left and right and shooting your opponent's arms and stuff like that. So, as again, the OG minigun wins. Heading over to the second weapon, we have the Special Carbine. Now, obviously, I'm going to be honest, MK2 Special Carbine is better in RNGs. But when it comes to first person or in general, like free aim scenario, let's see which AR is better. Because let me tell you guys something. The MK1 rifle, the Special Carbine, is one of the only rifles on GTA that can also have 100 bullets onto your magazine clip. So, I'm just saying this right now. It's going to be really good if you have 100 clip. Because basically this drum magazine, it gives you an access to be able to shoot 100 bullets at once instead of only 60 bullets. All MK2 ARs have 60 bullets. So as they're reloading in a free aim battle, you're not going to be the one reloading. So technically, you're going to be having an ad advantage wireless. you're just, you know, in a free aim scenario fighting. So yeah, I definitely think that this is a really good advantage as... If you're really good in free aim, you're just going to basically kill them off with one clip round. Meanwhile, you're going to be getting a little bit of a more advantage as they're reloading and you're not. So I would say the MK1 as again wins MK2 version of the guns. And when it comes to FTF, gangbang TDMs, obviously very good for switch kills with 100 clip and also free aim scenarios. Alright, so for this one, we're going to be testing out the damage of AR. Let's see which AR actually deals more damage. First one we have got is MK2, and then we're going to test the MK1. Seems like the MK2 deals, basically needs, you know, like 11 bullets. Because it says 49 out of 60. So, clearly shows 11 bullets that have been used. Now, let's try with the MK1 AR. Same upgrade, same full all stuff, but obviously the magazine is 100 clip, which is really good. 
but let's see how many bullets does this take to kill the player and it seems like that as again it takes the same amount of bullets to kill 11 so I think damage wise they don't really have any sort of difference the only difference that can be seen is in my opinion is accuracy now let's go try the recoil alright so over here we got the mk1 special carbine and we're gonna be shooting straight onto this wall and do the same test as we did with a minigun as the AR aim goes really high, that means obviously the aim is bad. If it goes left and right, that's also a really bad sign. So as you guys can clearly see, I shot literally 60 bullets. Not exactly the whole 100 clip because obviously the special MK2 carbine doesn't really have obviously 100 bullets. It doesn't have the magazine. So I have to shoot at least 60 bullets to make sure that it's somewhere around there because MK2 special carbine has only 60 bullets. Combining with all the other, you know, obviously ARs, they all have 60 bullets. So I just decided to shoot 60 bullets. And now we're going to be shooting 60 bullets with this one. And see which AR aim did go left and right or really high. Whichever goes really high or left and right is really bad. In my opinion, MK2 is better in RNG and MK1 is better in free aim lobbies. And last but not least, we've got the MK1 sniper versus the MK2 sniper. Alright, so we're basically going to be shooting right on the other side of the box, right in the middle right there. And as we shoot at that dot a little bit above, we're going to be understanding how high does the sniper go as it shoots. So obviously, you don't want the sniper to go really high after you shoot so it doesn't distract you. So right now we're going to be shooting from literally right down there and if as you guys can see like my aim goes literally right back to that like black dot that's like shot a little bit above with the MK1. So this is kind of a bad sign the fact that it touches. It means the recoil is really high. So it barely touches but it still did. So let's try the same area, same dot with the MK2 and let's see which accuracy is better, which sniper has better basically the recoil. So here we've got the MK2 Heavy Sniper and we're going to be doing the same test. We're going to be shooting the same dot from below. And as you guys can clearly see, like the sniper doesn't really touch the black dot above at all. It actually barely even gets close to it. So I would say that it's kind of clear that the MK2 wins when it comes to accuracy. The sniper doesn't really go high as you shoot, so it's pretty good. Wins MK1. Alright, looks like we turned the tables. Now MK2 actually has more ammo this time instead of the MK1. If you're sniping, you do notice that the MK2 Heavy Sniper has 8 bullets, MK1 has 6 bullets. So that is really advantage right there you can really gain because as they're reloading, boom. Straight up you get the kill as they're reloading, as you have 2 extra bullets more. That is an advantage. MK2 again wins. Alright, let's head over to the damage test. Let's see which heavy sniper actually deals more damage. So, over here my friend just shot me, and as you guys can clearly see, I'm going to be zooming in my health, and I have literally nothing. If you guys see that red health turn into dark black after you zoom in, that basically means you have empty zero health. And I'm going to snipe him now, and as you guys can clearly see, he has a little bit of a health left. Now you're probably like, oh come on, what is even the difference? In the end of the day, the sniper is not one-shotting. Now, for all the beach players, I just want to kind of expose this. Not a lot of people know this. That's why they kind of use like MK1. I found this out like a little bit like months ago. But basically, I'm going to show you guys why you should exactly use MK2 in beach AW. Now, the reason is not just because of the ammo and stuff like that. This little like health dot actually matters a lot. Like it matters a lot. And I'll explain you why it matters a lot. If you guys notice in beach AWs, uh, as you get a keck, you can actually snipe them and sometimes it one shots. The reason it one shots is because basically they ragdoll after you keck them, so like they fall on the ground and clearly they lose a little bit of health. Any sort of health they lose, they're gonna be one shot right away. Here's proof and all I'm saying is being BJW I guess it's better to use MK2, but a lot of people also prefer to use MK1 because of the smoothness and obviously the sound and stuff like that. So I hope this video helped you when it comes to choosing whatever style of weapon you want to use in battles. Leave a like if you did so, and I'll see y'all later.